Hello and welcome. Today is Tuesday, the 8th day of November 2016. My name is Derek. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. Take a look at the daily chart. And at the end of the video, I'm going to quickly put a quick game up where I will display 19 of the first 20 numbers in random order. And you'll have to guess what the number that was omitted within the first 20. So within today's analysis, two cents is the high lower than last week's. Yesterday's low, exactly the same as last week's. And overall, this almost looks like because of last this support being previous resistance, like it went up a floor and now we're on the second floor, I guess. Maybe this is the third floor, this is the fourth floor, whatever. We're just looking at support and resistance key points. And it's got to have that clear break above 1875. And clear break is at least a dime higher than that point, 789 cents larger. And then we'd be looking for a move towards this level. And you can say the same thing, clear break below 18, and then clear break up below these two points as well. When you're looking for any type of bearish or bullish sentiments, but uh, it's still within this newly rising 18 average. It has established this point here. And if it doesn't get above this 1875 mark anytime soon, the band will flatten out and things will just get very neutral within. So that will be the silver analysis. Earlier today, I created a game. Like I stated, I'm going to display 19 of the first 20 numbers. And you guess the final one. So let's bring them up and I'll stay quiet as the numbers are appearing. Okay, that didn't work out. Let me just run it again and here we go. Okay, so you, can you guess the final number? I know what it is. And I'm going to tell you now that the number is 15. That's the omitted number. Let's do it. Let's do another one. And then after we do that, I'll tell you how I am able to do it really easy. Okay, so the admitted number on this is that of a six. That's the one that was not shown of the 20. There we go. Now, how did I do that? I don't memorize these numbers. I add the numbers. The sum of the first 20 numbers is 210. So now that I'm going to do this final time, let's add again. 18 plus 15 is 33. 34. 44, 50. 55, 64, 67, 69, 79, 83, 93, that's 10, 29, 36, 49, 53, 59, 79, 87, 99, which means that's 11 from 210 because that's the subtraction of the two. That's where you get it. And there's the 11. So I can count a 52 card deck where you show me 51 cards and then I'll tell you what the final card is. 
because I know the sum of all those, uh, sum of 52 numbers, I think is 1378. It's 78 though, that it ends in. And I just keep adding numbers and I have a number for every card from one to 52 and I keep adding them. And then I subtract that from 78 and then I'm able to get the number. So it's just a card counting technique where you're not using your brain to memorize it, but you're using it to count it. And I think there's really only two ways, either count it, which I can do, or you have an amazing memory to remember so many different things and that I cannot do. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day.